Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today let's look at how do how do we discover the network devices. Network devices what I mean to say is the computers which are within your domain which are within your subnet. So by default Kaspersky under advanced you have device discovery by default it will automatically detect the, the domain which you are part of the server Kaspersky security center is part of and it will try to run the discovery and discover what machines are there and what are the status of them whether do they have any agents installed or not moreover it will also detect your subnet local subnet over here and then you can configure the discovery to be run or performed over there by default it will detect run the discovery for the first time but if you would like to uh, add further more IP ranges you can simply click on IP ranges you can add subnet you can provide the subnet of that particular IP range uh, or you can simply provide the IP range over here and moreover you if you already have your uh, subnet which is my local subnet for example you will be able to see what's the status if the scan has already been performed and we see whether the machines are discovered over there or not in my environment of course I have limited machines it's a test lab environment so I do not have many machines over here um, but what I have possibility over here is I can simply click over here move these machines to group I can install application I can remove from group I can install updates and fix vulnerabilities of course when I'm talking about fixed vulnerabilities and all agent needs to be there Kaspersky endpoint security needs to be there so that I'll be able to run the discovery over there moreover if I go to IP ranges I have possibility to configure polling or I can run the polling now on all the subnets which are defined over here if I go to configure polling for example I have possibility to enable polling on this particular subnets which are defined over there and also I can set up the polling schedule so that it should run maybe every uh, week or every two weeks or something like that how I would like to perform so I can say by days of week or I can say maybe um, every month on specified dates something like that so I can perform the discovery on schedule basis also of course once this is done discovery is done you will be able to see some devices appearing over here as I said and what we can do in this case is um, we have possibility to install the uh, Kaspersky endpoint agent and Kaspersky uh, security center um, endpoint agent and we can install Kaspersky endpoint security both over here but currently because we are talking about discovery the easiest way to do is just click on here new IP range define the IP range uh, I can name it maybe for example my uh, VLAN 10 for example something like that and I can provide the subnet mask over here of this particular VLAN and I can say my VLAN is 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and I can just simply say okay and it will try to run the scan on this particular VLAN also and to run the scan I I can simply click over here and I can pull from here or I can click over here and I can uh, just simply uh, perform an action over here also um, but currently because there is nothing related to this VLAN for me uh, so I I cannot do this part over here uh, and I can even we, do certain things over here in terms of properties and I can uh, further drill down into it um, moving forward when we talk about it uh, we can just go here do certain definitions from here and IP range is too wide for example or let's say IP range we are talking about and then and then I can say maybe till 100 I would like to go for and I can put over here like this and I I'll have over here my VLAN 10 which is about this particular thing 
and then of course as I said earlier the easiest way is how we can perform the poll so I can click on here and I can poll now and it will try to poll all the IPs within that particular range uh, which will fall under that but as I said in my case I do not have much uh, in terms of uh, ranges so it will not definitely do much over there um, so this is how you can simply run the discovery on your network on different subnets and then Kaspersky will basically run the discovery along your uh, on your network or of course on schedule basis can run the discovery on your network thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.